Hello and welcome to ATP Report. It's the Katie and Barry Show, which means joining me today from beautiful freezing London, England, is my partner in all of this, the fantastic Katie Hopkins. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Thank you so much, Barry. And yes, it is freezing here at the moment. We are all waiting for spring to spring. Uh, but for now, I will just share these with you once more. They're becoming a weekly thing. I still have the daffodils. These are our spring flowers that I bring to our meetings to keep us cheery. And they're they're real flowers, not plastic, eh? That's right. These are the real flowers that still pop up, even though it's so chilly here. Well, let's go from something beautiful to something um, literally insane in our country. Um, our president, in case you forgot, Joe Biden is his name. <laughs> <laughs> has reversed um, the previous administration's policy. Now, when someone shows up at our border or climbs over the fence and says they want to make an asylum claim, uh, Trump had reversed Obama's policy, whereby we let them in, they make a claim, they fill out a form, and then they're released, and then they promise, I'll come back in four years or three years, whatever my court date is, and the vast majority of them never come back. They just disappear. Um, why is the door wide open again? Is this all about creating new Democrats to vote Democrat in the future? And, you know, it's so, it's so frustrating, isn't it? It reminds me, Barry, when I was in DC and I met a Guatemalan t-shirt seller on the side of the road. Admittedly, she wasn't selling any t-shirts because there was no one in DC but the message she gave me, we were chatting and she said, yeah, we believe at home. But now you have Biden. America is open. America is open. And that's the message that's quite clearly being pushed back down the line is that it is a free for all. Everyone can come. And exactly that's exactly what Biden has basically said, hasn't he? Pull down the wall, defund the wall. Everybody come in. And as soon as they get to your border, they're shipped right in. And often it's poor border force who are helping transport these people much against their will, but they're obliged to do it by Biden and the administration. Well, let's make it even worse, shall we? Uh, in California, the largest state with the biggest mess from COVID and homeless and the budget is well on its way to recalling its governor, uh, Gavin Newsom for just a myriad of terrible, terrible, terrible management of the state. But wait till you hear this, Katie. They are now allocating um, $28 million in a special fund just for the asylum seekers that have now come in since Biden has taken over. So as I understand it, um, illegal immigrants who are applying for asylum, and like I said, it it can be two, three years because the backlog is a zillion cases and the courts are packed. They let them out. And now the state of California is going to feed them, shelter them, give them medical care, give them legal dates and legal representation, and ignoring the homeless that are California and American citizens that are on the streets, many of whom are veterans with, well, sad to say, you know, mental health issues that need to be addressed. We're ignoring all of them. And we are spending the money in California to support them. What the heck could they possibly be thinking? It's so, it's so frustrating, isn't it, Barry? Because you just get the sense that the people that make these decisions, that make these calls, that feel so noble to them, it feels so appropriate to them you know I would love to take them by the hand and walk them and it's not just skid row now you know that's kind of an old-fashioned notion it isn't just skid row at all that is spread out it's now a sprawling mass of people without homes without places to use a bathroom and it's the smell of it as well you know that smell stays with me and, and I don't blame those people on the streets you know they need to be institutionalized they need to be given care that they need California is overwhelmed by people who already need help without bringing more illegals that go to the front of the queue. And we share that same problem here in the UK where there is help available to people who can't speak English, who are illegals, but that help can't be accessed by impoverished white British kids. It's not available to our own. 
Well, the states are fighting back, Katie, in, in the case of um, Texas uh, taking the lead. And as I understand it also in Arizona, the states are saying enough's enough. You're dumping these people on our doorstep. We're already broke. We can't take care of our own people. And you, federal government, you, President Biden, are opening up the borders. The problem was gone when the border was closed. And now you're inviting people in. Oh, my God, we don't have the money. You know, I've spent time there in McAllen. I've, I've been there on the border. I've spent time with a rancher whose land was part of the land being used by these traffickers to move these people through. You can only imagine, Barry, for them having had hope given to them by Trump, watching sections of a wall being built, watching people being turned back, watching that flow suddenly almost as if a tap had been turned and it was turned off. And then seeing that reverse, then how quickly all of that hard work's been reversed. It must just break their little hearts to see this. The rancher I met, Barry, was sat in his vehicle watching the gap in the fence with a shotgun on his lap because they terrify him day and night as they cross his land. That's the reality on your border. Well, let's make it even scarier. It was announced yesterday that since January, the Border Patrol in Texas has been forced to release, to release into the general population over a hundred illegals that were apprehended, that were tested, get this Katie, positive for COVID and they can no longer detain them. So they let them go, get this, with a recommendation God. that they follow the CDC guidelines. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh you know, I hope the recommendation is written in Spanish, Barry. Otherwise, you know, the poor people, they can't be expected to understand your language as well. This is the craziness, right? And I don't want to make this about me, but as a Brit who would abide by rules, respects Americans, respects your country, wants to pay my way, I'm not allowed into your country. I'm banned right now because I'm British. Illegals. Katie, Katie climb over the fence, <laughs> speak Spanish, right? Right. Destitute, you get everything paid for and you can be released for years and no one's going to track you. No one's going to check on you, but you can swing by periodically to pick up vouchers for housing, clothing, food and medicine. Isn't that just great? Oh, it is so frustrating, isn't it? And it's so we had this moment in history when we had someone in the White House speaking for these frustrations. And now Biden's showing exactly why it's so easy to manage the decline of a country. It's so easy to decline a country. It's hard to fight for a country. And I think that's why so many people just felt emotionally, I don't know, overwhelmed by seeing Trump back at CPAC. It was like remembering what we used to have. And I'm an outsider and a a foreigner, you know. It's, it's absolutely incredible how much has changed yeah. in a month and a half. Yeah. It's not even a month and a half, it's, six, it's five and a half weeks. Yeah. And the borders are open and people are pouring across and they're testing positive for COVID and we're letting them go. And all you gotta do is say asylum and they go, great, we'll put you on the docket. You're 1,747,000th in line. It'll be sometime in 2024. Yeah. Um, don't forget to check in. Yeah, and exactly. And we'll give you your court date. Yeah, but exactly. And you know what, Barry? When they arrive, very much like the Somalis that arrive here, they don't just sit here quietly and just, you know, keep their head down. They are messaging home. They're calling home. They're advertising that America is open. They're ringing their families, their friends. They've got thousands of them. And they're showing, I got this free healthcare. Oh, look, I got this free meals. I got this free voucher. They are advertising all that you offer for free. And imagine how many are just setting out on that journey now. It's... It's like a gift certificate to the best mall in the world with no responsibility other than to put your hand out and say, please, can I have more? Yeah, and it's getting worse. Thanks, Katie, for coming on today. And I want to remind all of our viewers out there in ATP land, 
to be able to see more of Katie and Barry and all of our other contributors absolutely free. All you have to do is take out your cell phone and text the word truth and send it to the number 88202, push send. You'll be signed up. You'll get it all for free and it'll take you about five seconds. For Katie, I'm Barry. Thanks for joining us today on ATP Report. Thank <laughs> you.